All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. Yes, I did plug in the mic. Uh, so actually, yeah, we're starting on time basically. Um, I actually had a good, I had a great night's sleep last night. Went to bed around eleven thirty, maybe eleven forty-five p.m. at the latest. Right. I also made sure to reduce my eating. Right. So no, no nighttime snacking. Or at least giving, or at least giving myself four hours. And uh, I don't know, there's something, uh, I don't know, I've been getting a lot of inflammation the past couple of days. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, but again, from what I can tell, I must, I must have miscalculated somewhere and then just like ate too many calories than I should have or something. I, I don't know. So, uh, you know, it's just uh, today I'm going to try and uh, try to really reduce what I eat. Um, and I'll try to go from there. It's very, it's very irritating, though, this inflammation. Uh, which probably means that even if I drop down to like 162, right, I'll probably still have this problem, right? Um, but hopefully I'll get, uh, at least there'll be more flexibility and wiggle room for myself. Oh yeah, I, so I did just, so I just simply pop this open. Right now my thoughts are racing all over the place. You know, I was listening to a bunch of Jesse Lee Peterson, of course, uh, specifically his video on how to forgive your mom, right? Because I'm actually trying to figure out how I'm supposed to do it correctly. So, uh, you know, he talked about, you know, I'm just, I'm just closing out the browser because I have to refresh correct so it doesn't show my stupid IP again. Um, and how you have to know yourself first, let God see your, let God help you see like how wicked you are and all that stuff. Like with no anger and no judgment, it's like, oh, you know, oh, okay. So that's, uh, that's probably not good. Okay. And then, I mean, in a non-judgmental way, it's like, okay. Uh, and, and then from there, then you should be able to go on to um uh which we call forgive your parents and so especially your mom and then you become the in my case i become the man that i was supposed to be uh then he also says about uh, there's no purpose right it's all a lie right the world tells you you must have a purpose in life that's actually bullshit <laughs> it's god has uh you know uh has a plan for you and that's what you're supposed to be following so i guess that's one way of looking at it uh or something like that right now that i think about it uh but yeah um you know jesse's take was you have no purpose it's all alive from the world right you know find yourself kind of thing like no you're supposed to um find god forgive your parents then you live a life of perfect peace and then you create love throughout the whole world right because that is everyone's purpose, right? God uses us to create love in the world. So, um, yeah, that's something uh, you definitely want to take a look at. And then, oh, yeah, and then um, um, Nick Fuentes had some amazing clips. And he actually gave an impromptu speech where he actually kicked out a thought who was apparently, like, showing her uh, chest assets, right, her cleavage. And he, he just threw her out. It's like, yeah, be gone, thought. You know, she, you know, she, she's just looking for male attention because that's why she has her cleavage out. Yeah, get her out of her. You know, call her a, uh, actually, I can't say, I probably don't want to risk uh, flagging it, but basically called her a, uh, a certain shill for a country that you cannot um, uh, criticize, at least I can't, all right, for the time being, right? And call her a bitch. <laughs> Right, I would have used the you know the word cunt, but you know uh, I, I guess I guess in Nick's case, you know, um, <laughs> you know, I guess even he has to kind of just be a little careful, right? I mean, not that it matters that much anymore because he's already been deplatformed, uh, and then everyone was cheering and stuff. I'm pretty sure though that some of the guys would still like ask for a number or something. And yeah, and that made me realize. Yeah, I would get kind of tempted by that, too. Like, even though I would eventually be aware, yeah, wait a minute, why is she opposing, like, a Christian America? It's like, you know, this is bullshit. But despite that, I would still, like, want to sleep with her. And then, like, hmm, there's probably something wrong with this logic here. You know, it's like, yeah, because cause I had, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, because my personal trainer was, um, happened to be Jewish, and she was, like, really hot. Uh, the problem is, like, her, her mentality and mindset, like, our values were just completely the, like, complete opposite. So, like, you know, it would have been very bad, you know, you know, into abortion, uh, you know, like, I tell her that, like, you know, New York and Virginia want post-birth post -birth abortion, and she just out, flat out refused to believe it. I even told her that there was a pregnant woman who wanted her kid, but then... Uh, you remember that story, and then uh, it got killed because 
some criminal, you know, stabbed her in the stomach or something, her baby died. And then uh, because uh, fetus is not considered living in New York State, you know, uh, he, uh, the criminal here in New York only got like a small sentence because it wasn't considered murder, which was obviously bullshit. Uh, and I told her about that. He's like, no, it's not true. He's like, yeah, it's all over the news, right? And then, yeah. So you can tell, like, on the outside, great. On the inside, uh, <laughs> uh, no, no, nothing but, like, really bad ideas, right? And, you know, obviously she's a woman, so she can't help it. But, you know, that just goes to show the power of fake news terrorism. So, yeah, we got we to gotta fix this shit. You know, Nick Fuentes will lead the way. I'll lead the way in just nice, fun entertainment. And then... Uh, you know, and uh, yeah, and oh, and then last night, you know, I finally got around to doing some coding, and then a lot of my time was wasted with this guy who just wants me to list uh, uh, for our 404 coin, like a bunch of shitty exchanges, and then, you know, like, now I'm just starting to get a little annoyed, so, you know, on the one hand, I don't want to tell him to fuck off, because, you know, maybe he'll have a good idea, but on the other hand, I'm just going to probably look at it and say, yeah, it looks okay, but it's pretty cheap, so you should pay for it. Because otherwise, I don't want to bother with this anymore. All right, you know, I got because I have more important things to do. I gotta do this, right? I gotta make the game. Because we don't make the game, then you know our crypto is just basically kind of worthless, right? And then eventually, when the inflation hits high enough, we're gonna have to lower the APR significantly to keep things, uh, you know, stable, like JMC coin over here, right? You know, which because the game is everything, right? Because we need some kind of use case, right? So, or, or any use case, but in my case, because of my strengths and weaknesses, I think a game would work, right? And then I also did more research into networking stuff, right? So apparently, Photon, because it's kind of a shitty back-end service, right? And then I couldn't find any info about Playfab, right? That also, I think, offers the same matchmaking service. Like, there's actually a, a message and rate limit. So I actually cannot have a battle royale, right? Because uh, the servers are going to start lagging or something. So, I don't know. Actually, uh, Real Royale Simulator. Steam. I forgot the name of the thing on Steam. Battle Royale Simulator on Steam. Uh... Wait, no, that's not it. Um, more like this. I'm trying. Uh, I'm trying to find that game because I want to find out what they're using. Realm, no. Realm, uh, I think it's the no. Battle Royale Simulator, uh, real life battle royale is going to be epic on Steam. To yeah, that's it. Totally accurate battlegrounds because they changed their name. Yeah, this is the one that Forsen played. And then all the all the forcing boys invaded, and then now it um, lagged the hell out of the server. So it's actually a parody of PUBG. Um, let's see. Why am I making a battle royale game? Um, we had some negative information, but I turned to finish up the game to share with you all. So I, I just want to know what is what server backend do they use? Totally accurate battleground server backend. Hopefully, I'll be able to find out. Uh, my black box hosting. Hmm. Do people still play? Yes. Okay. Black box servers. Amazing to choose our totally accurate battleground server hosting. Procedural map offsite backup. Oh, I think this thing is. Oh, this is already a pre-built solution specifically for this game. Uh, yeah, this this is not what I'm looking for. But actually, you know what? I'm gonna probably put uh, take a look and see. Maybe in their FAQ, they could tell they could say uh, support client sponsorship uh, games. They host a bunch of games. I'm looking for their FAQ. Uh, network status. Okay, here we go. Knowledge base. Um, uh, like, I want to know what what company are they using? Are they using Photon? Are they using um, you know whatever? Uh, networking, such a pain in the ass. But anyway, uh, because of that, now I have to change my idea to a mini Royale. So you can have like, 
It says you can maybe do eight players, but if you go beyond eight players, then the because uh, then the message rate limit becomes a problem. So, but there's not a lot of stuff that goes on in my game. So, I figure it should be fun to have even up to twelve. But then I also have to have uh, NPC turrets in the game, so that like because when I start off the game, there's not going to be a lot of people playing, so I'm going to need to put turrets in. So I'm thinking I'll have that, and then eventually, as I get more progressed, I can try to like you know learn more about playfab or uh i was actually looking a lot at uh, amazon game lift too but that thing looks pretty hard so because the problem is i have to actually create a specific game server that works with my game client and like like i don't even know where to begin to do that so yeah but you know i'll give it time you know gotta be patient you know just build up what i can build and remember, I can still just get away with just what Tarkov has, because that a game like Tarkov actually only has like up to like like what 10, 12 players. Um, so and they're not sending R crazy amounts of RPCs all the time anyway. So, you know, I could totally get away with that. I just won't be able to do like the big scale stuff until like maybe I can add that later in a couple of years if the game gets popular enough. And now obviously I'll have more a lot more money. I'll also have you know fame from it, and I'll just say. Hey, we want to create a, a a battle royale and like a battlegrounds type thing of like you know forty to sixty players or whatever. I need you know X Y Z type of uh, I need an Amazon game lift uh, expert or whatever to help me create that back end and then you know pay them well or give them actually I'll probably just pay them a lot of money. I actually want to keep the shares of my company because that'll be private, right? But it's dividing the shares you know all to myself, all right? But then in the future we go public, you know he's obviously going to get in. You know, get uh, get in cheap because at that point we're just printing money out of thin air through the uh, SEC. You know, uh, and of course there's no voting stock in it because I'm keeping 100% creative control over my company. Right? I don't I don't want a bunch of idiot investors just say, well, you're not doing good enough, so we're gonna dump your stock and short that shit, and you know, tell all the fake news terrorist uh, websites to talk trash about your game because that's actually what happens. Right? You become beholden to your stockholders, and I'm not gonna allow that to happen. So anyway, a lot of good stuff, and uh, yeah, there's just so much crap going on. It's like you know, it's like my my, my mind's like all over the place. Uh, but you know, yeah, I just still kind of wish I could do my political videos. That would uh, that would be really nice. But oh well, uh, there'll, there'll be other alternatives. Anyway, Bitcoin searches for this week is still at eleven, so not too bad. It looks like crypto and maybe the equity markets are stabilizing so we'll have to see because obviously we haven't heard anything i didn't really i didn't really see anything last night about coronavirus and actually in fact today this morning when i woke up i didn't even think about it you know i did my shit from target got a bunch of food i'm well stocked for like the next like probably three weeks uh, especially now if i know i have to like reduce my calorie intake because i guess for some reason my inflammation got out of control uh, so I don't know. I actually think it might be a rash too. So I, I don't know. But anyway, 24 volume is a pretty modest 158.3 billion. Bitcoin dominance is high at 64%. Uh, Bitcoin itself is down to 86.56. Uh, it's still flatlining a little bit to the downside. So, you know, definitely anything can happen. Litecoin's at 59.45. I have noticed people have been leaving my BitChute channel because people are even getting complaining about Bitcoin and crypto, saying it's a piece of shit. So this always happens. Like people just uh, like that. That's why you're never going to be rich, right? You you make a commitment like marriage, and you fucking stick with it. All right. You know that's kind of the reason why divorce is a really bad thing. Uh, and I'm glad that you know after Nick Fuentes' explosive speech yesterday, um, uh, what you might call it. Uh, yeah, you know, things are going to be looking on the uh, up and up, right? So, yeah, so we'll be able to restore a lot of things. Uh, of course, it will, of course, it'll have its own set of problems, too, and we might have to repeat the cycle of right versus left, Christianity versus evil forever and ever. But I'm pretty sure my role would be to figure out how to just end that cycle. So that seems to be where uh, I would be best suited. Dog coins at 282 million, so not too bad. Uh, oh, and that's the other thing, too. Um, There's certain topics I cannot include in my game, right? Because I can't cover, like, you know, uh, you know, homosexuality in my games and, you know, everything that comes after that, right? So, you know, I got to figure out what stuff can can the story complain about without getting banned, which is kind of like 
really annoying. And I'm going to even reference that in the game so that everyone knows what's really up. Uh, and I thought, okay, we need more issues. I thought, oh, yeah, interracial marriage is probably safe enough to include and talk about. All right. And then that might land me in some trouble. So, uh, yeah. So uh, it's uh, it's an interestingly quite a, quite a challenge. So Steam's at 16.86 cents. So pretty good. Um Let's see, dog core, yeah, 282 million. So, uh, Dow loses, really? Oh, wow. So, so much for that talk. Damn, I bought a little bit yesterday. I wish I bought today instead. Yeah, bummer. Uh, let's see. So, let me see. MMRL must be taking a nosedive. Yeah, damn, I could have bought for a lot cheaper. I mean, one of them, I only would have gotten one extra share anyway, because I actually don't have a lot of money from the dividends. Apparently, I actually must have forgotten that I actually already bought <laughs> a few months ago. So, uh, damn, that sucks. I could have bought so many shares. Like, this is not, this is like literally a free for all now. So, this is actually pretty good. You know, the market, equity markets are getting slaughtered, but cryptocurrency is holding pretty strong in comparison to that. So, that's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good because remember, everything can go down, but not everything goes down in the same rate. That's another thing that investors, now that you're watching me, uh, this is another thing you have to learn. Just because everything goes down doesn't mean everything's bad. It just means who is losing less than the other. Right? It's all relative. You're like, oh, I'm down 5% today. Well, if everyone around you in the world is losing 50%, well, all of a sudden that 5% loss doesn't seem that bad. On the other hand, that same 5% loss could look very bad if everyone else in the world is gaining 100% returns, right? Positive 100%. Then there's the, it's more about the gap between what everyone else is doing, All right? You know, uh, see, unlike Christianity, when it comes to investing, comparing and contrasting is very important. It's actually kind of ironic, right? In the real world, we all compare ourselves, social status, our jobs. Is our wife hotter than the other guy's wife, right? Is your husband more of an alpha male than your other husband, right? Right, and that's bad, that's evil. But when it comes to investing, you actually want to reverse it, right? You know, the, you know, comparisons are actually very important, right? But at the same time, you also have to be cognizant of, A, don't chase the maximum returns because that's how you lose everything. And number two, don't get angry or emotional about when things go to shit like it is now. In fact, always look to buy when things are going down, right? But don't go too crazy at the buy because the price can keep going down, right? And then that could cause an tr emotional response. And then when things are going up a lot, then you better start thinking about selling because, you know, the bubble is going to burst at some point, right? In fact, the markets for the past uh, few years since Trump have been going up like crazy. Well, guess what? Now is a good time for everything to start tanking, right? And now uh, Donald Trump, you know, being the money guy, he's like, well, shit, this is the worst. Like, I'm kind of surprised, but maybe they're formulating it, but I'm surprised that the Democrats and the uh, and the left haven't seized on this and say Trump's economy was all bullshit, right? He talked a good game and the markets went up on false lies and now we're seeing the truth. And here's the recession. We're all going to lose our money. It's all because of the orange man bad's fault. That would actually kind of fuck Trump in the ass because like Trump, a big part of Trump is to actually constantly talk up the stock market. So every time he kind of complains about it and things keep going down, especially as this coronavirus goes out, this could actually harm Trump a lot, so you know he's uh, he, he he better uh, he better start figuring something out. So uh, let's see, coronavirus remains uh, elevated, uh, so we'll take a look at that soon. GMC coin continues to do pretty all right, you know, it's decent volume, decent amount of buys. It's three to four, so GMC coin right now is acting like a pretty good uh, currency hedge, which is why we lowered the APR a long time ago to what it is now to make it a stable coin type of proof of stake, but with a high enough, you know, uh, interest rate to keep things, uh, uh, you know, pretty profitable at hold. So, you know, think of it as like a very expensive, uh, high interest paying bank account kind of thing. That's what we're trying to go for. 404 coin remains to be uh, kind of just anemic. Um, in fact, there's just no trade volume it looks like from here um five 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 six five so yeah i mean this looks exactly like the what it was yesterday so it's four to five but maybe if you're way you look five to six uh right now nobody's in the mood to buy crypto though except jmc coin 
you know, and you know, two by two is still pretty solid too, fifty eight to sixty five. Right now, fear is in total control. Fear, paranoia, FUD, right? Fear, uncertainty, doubt. So now is a good time to buy, but again, don't go too crazy, right? Don't spend, like, let's say you only have, like, $1,000. Don't spend all $1,000 on it, right? You know, because this shit could get a lot worse, meaning the prices will also obviously go get a lot worse. So, you know, it's like you're basically, you're, I think it's called dollar cost averaging, DCAing down, all right? So uh, I fully expect things to get a lot worse and the prices to get shittier. In my case, I only wound up buying like what? 12 shares of MMRL last night. So, or yesterday before the markets closed. So I was like, yeah, all right, you know, got it. And I did a covered call. So that was kind of nice too. Uh, and it was all free of charge of the, um, uh, and was commission free. So I didn't lose anything because the commissions used to actually be a problem. Like I, had, I was charged $5 a, a trade now it's like nothing um and then when i did the covered call then yeah my brokerage took like let's see uh it turned out to be about 10 percent, but i think the fee was pretty f uh, but the fee itself is fixed right because i didn't have a lot of covered calls to make so i only made like 13 bucks but funny enough it's more than enough money to buy another share of mmrl in fact that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna buy mmrl um Let's see, obviously I'm on my Chrome. So actually, you know what? Let me do that now in the middle of this bloodbath. Uh, so let's see. Yeah. Oh my God. Why is this fucking website so slow? Actually, it's 10.30 a.m. Maybe uh, it's because everyone's logging in to dump uh, all their shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, great. Yeah, I can, I can only imagine. How much, how hard is it to run a um a uh a website like this oh yeah mmrl eleven dollars and fifty cents all right well let's go buy let's go buy no i don't want to sell i want to buy one share right we're gonna take advantage now because i really wish i would have bought it on yesterday's price let's see no commissions one share yes place order market buy all right very good uh i really wish I, see this is why i really wished i had you know a little more time to enjoy the 2017 bull run all right my real estate i would have been able to buy commercial real estate that cash flow would have i would immediately start withdrawing from my bank account and start buying up all these stocks right i would start, just start buying like crazy right now it's everything's on sale and like yeah all right but oh well i'll get my i'll get my chance i'll get my chance in a few years when this bull run you know eventually you know exhausts itself of course right now we're in a correction or like it's really just more because of the stupid coronavirus so but yeah uh, you should be buying because i'm buying all right with whatever little uh, funds i cash i do have i'm buying i'm buying 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 all right so yeah but again control your buying um uh, Compound coins at forty one oh four to forty four forty satoshis of a dog coin. So it's actually, so it's actually been pretty resistant at this price. So hopefully, so this is actually pretty nice. Uh, and my compound coin stack has not been growing, right? Even though I've just been selling off the same amount for like the past few months. It's like it's so hard to grow your stack now. So um, yeah, it's in a really uh, crappy spot. Oh, thank you to one person that subscribed. I'm kind of surprised that someone's here uh so anyway uh, i just want to take a quick look at the headlines um bitcoin climbs what it's not a haven status all right because people just don't know what they're doing so they're just making a bullshit as they go along so that's really what it is uh investors are selling everything even gold here is why so everyone's going into cash yeah so so this is exactly what's go will you stop this is exactly what's wrong with investors today, right? And it's been the story like this since the beginning of man. Once he realized he could buy and sell, he, once he realized he could buy low and sell high and make a profit, right? So I don't know, thousands of years ago, like this is just retarded, right? Gold's a safe haven. Now all of a sudden they're selling. <laughs> it's like, just have a plan, stick with it. Like whatever you're married, right? Because I want to get married and have kids eventually, right? Right. As soon as your wife or husband does something wrong, right, you don't all of a sudden just freak out and then just want to file for a divorce, right? You know, it's like that's kind of like the same thing here. You gotta stick with the plan here. You gotta stick with the marriage, right? Now, of course, people who get divorced, you know, a lot of it's uh, 
I think today, to this day, the number one reason is actually still money or lack of money. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, if we were in such a fallen state, uh, fallen world, right, you know, at least, you know, things would be a lot better, but. Yeah, but anyway, don't be these idiots, right? They're not they're just dumping everything because they're retarded, right? And I'm glad they're dumping because a we could get it for cheap, and b they should be, they should be punished for their lack of loyalty, lack of tenacity, and just lack of self control, right? Their 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 emotions are just you know in full control. Bitcoin bounces eighty four hundred four week low, but also apparently crypto was actually down a lot today too or something. I didn't see it. All right, I saw it last night. It was like eighty eight hundred. I wake up this morning and it's you know eighty six fifty six. So, uh, SEC rejects the Bitcoin ETF. Yes, they picked a good time to just say go fuck yourself, Bitcoin. Even though people inside the SEC itself actually wants to approve it. Uh, so yeah, so basically everything's all coronavirus shit. Uh, yeah, I agree. So how to mislead a pile of Bitcoin just like cannabis opiates? Okay. Um, Change, rapid change, nope. Hmm. Excuse me. Massive twenty trillion dollar wealth transfer bullish for Bitcoin, says crypto influencer. Um I might want to read it. Threat DeFi hackers, do as crypto player Libra has ties to Goldman Sachs, hard baby. Yeah. I yeah, I mean Libra is globalist controlled blockchain. So yeah, of course. I don't have to project Bitcoin boon and one million warns Bitcoin halving headaches incoming. Yeah. Oh, now all of a sudden, yeah, when everything's going to shit, like you conveniently decide to, yeah, okay. Uh, Curry test blockchain bonds journey launches crypto ETP. Oh, so that's our, oh, actually, actually, I really don't feel like reading any news, but that's actually pretty important. So, uh, I just want to see what he's, uh, Bitcoin's not supposed to be millions, will inherit 68 trillion from the baby boomers. Why? Uh, distrust of institutions, devaluation of fiat, shift from gold to Bitcoin, and the growth of digital tech will make Bitcoin investing a no-brainer. Yeah, that's actually true. Uh, and the boomers are dying off. Uh, that's a D -D -D -D, uh, D -D -D. Um, okay, blah, 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 okay, yeah, all right. Well, the thing is, we don't know when it's going to, I'm not a big fan of this picture. Well, the thing is, we don't know when it's going to happen, so, but yeah, it will happen. Um, yeah, this one's a little weird. Uh, okay, so the only thing we care about is Korea and Germany in this case. Uh, SEC just denied the ETF. Okay, I don't care about their uh, reasons. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, Bank of Korea is testing a blockchain system for government bond transactions. The bank will record. Blah, blah, blah. That's very good. Well... The headline said Germany. Where is Germany? <clears throat> oh, here we go. It was in this paragraph. Germany's second largest stock exchange, Bors Stugert, has listed a new ETP that keeps track of inverse Bitcoin value in Euro. 21 shares that kind of created the ETP says the track is on present in both crypto and ETP worlds, but Bitcoin has probably ETP rises. Uh, okay. Can you tell us the symbol of it? Uh, financial interest with the DDD, uh, issue of crypto products. Well, unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to qualify to get a, uh, to get this ET. The new EPRYD is listed already on the Swiss stock exchange in Zurich. Um, all right, well, let's test it. Is it going up right now? Uh, maybe we could do this. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can't even search for it easily. Yeah, like this is why we need something like this, right? And of course, the SEC, like we've got the globalist evil pieces of shit, you know, still still saying no to Bitcoin ETFs. Uh, LedgerX.com. Options of Bitcoin. Um, let's see. Data? All right, uh, day ahead swap. Um, oh God, how do I read this shit? Oh, okay. So they mixed all their in. Okay, so they mixed everything here. Um, there's a call here. There's a call for nine thousand, and you can make five percent right now. 
when does this thing expire? Oh, it expires in one month. No, that's that's an, that's way too risky. Uh, where is the put option for say eight thousand? Here we go. We have an eighty-five hundred dollar put option that expires tomorrow. The last bid is five dollars. Last ask is six. Six dollars. Uh, what? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'll have to log in to be able to see this, because this, because this would be interesting. You could do like a one-day put option, but I mean, that's still kind of risky too, because Bitcoin could easily drop to eighty-five hundred within like in a couple of hours. You know, close you out and then go back up or something. Uh, yeah, so we need a, how about a put option for eight grand, uh, $98 to 225. Wait, what's this number on the far right? Volume weighted average price. Okay. So you can buy a one month put option. I'll expire March 27th. Um, I don't know. That's not really enough money, is it? Uh, so, but you get a one month gain, you know, instead of playing with stocks, maybe you should just do cover, uh, just, just do options here. Uh, but the thing is, I forgot, how do you, I forgot how this works. If I own Bitcoin here, then I can do a covered call. But if I want to do a put, I agree. So a put option of 8,000, so I can agree to buy Bitcoin at 8,000. So I'm gonna need, oh man, does that mean I'm gonna need $8,000 in my account before I could? Well, I mean, they have they have an infraction, so it would only be $80, but, so I have to, so 1%, yeah, so 1% of $8,000, because they actually do things in, uh, in percents here. So I could spend like $80, so I have to lock in $80 and say, I will buy Bitcoin at eight grand, uh, but you have to pay me 98 cents or $2. Yeah, that's not a lot of money. Um, here's a $15,000 put. Uh, this is basically charging the time premium of it. Uh, wait, this isn't even a time premium. What? Let's see. Oh man, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to look. I'm gonna have to relook up my uh, put options here, because here you're actually you're actually creating the option. You're not just going in and just buying the derivatives. Um, okay, because uh, I don't actually because I don't actually want to buy a put option of Bitcoin. What I actually want is to sell the put option. Wow. Okay, man. There's a lot of crazy shit here. All right. Very good. All right. Well, that means I better go sign up then. Uh, okay. So anyway, so that's not too bad. We need a, I really don't, I'm not a big fan of any of these, but I guess we'll just use this. Anyway, not a whole lot of news. Uh, well, where are we at? 33 minutes. Uh, all right. I guess we'll take a look at coronavirus. Uh, Fisher's risk for trying to drumbeat of new blah, blah, blah. Who raises risk to a very high across the world. Uh, coronavirus pummels everything. Mick Mulvaney suggests people ignore Coronavirus for our views. I, that's actually kind of true-ish. Dow played as much as a lot of points. Uh, it's the worst week since 2008. Oh, wow. Well, that's a flash. That's a flash uh, from the past. Is that how it is? Is that how the term goes? Uh, Marcus told us Corona this time. It feels different. No, that's a lie. It's never different. It's just, just, it's just the only thing that's different is the people participating and the event, right? But it's just always the same bullshit, right? The, the world was gonna end in the 1989 savings crisis, right? The world's gonna end with the dot-com bust. The world's gonna end, you know, in 2009 because real estate's going bankrupt. You know, the whole financial system's crying. Now it's, oh, the whole world's gonna end because of coronavirus. It's the same bullshit, man. I'm 37 years old, I've seen it all. and still have a lot of view, so. For all the road, do you believe probably the left is using cars to ridicule Trump? Probably. It's actually a very smart move, actually. Major bank kind of says a coronavirus market reaction bomb was a mine. Uh, where did the new coronavirus come from? Okay, so there's literally nothing new about it, right? Because I specifically am looking for news that says confirmed new cases here in America. Because that's going to, like, make everybody fucking scared to death. So, um, 
And of course, you know, I'm still waiting on the uh, Long Island people who might have co uh, coronavirus, right? Uh, uh, a little bit to the east of me uh, here in New York City. So uh, that's going to like really make people nervous. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is also a little unfair because if the left was in charge of government right now, we'd be doing the same shit. Like, you know, Obama or, you know, Hillary Clinton, you know, is going to get us all killed because she's not dealing with the coronavirus. So, you know, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so we don't really care. Anyway, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever, you're, from wherever you are watching this from. Or on my... Uh, uh, YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash uh, JMC Radio. I'm actually getting distracted by my Star Wars Galaxy Heroes. I'm just reading. Uh... Also, I just noticed I'm getting bumped around in my squad's fleet arena. Like, ugh. But I mean, when you're actually, when you can actually get the number one spot, everyone's obviously at that point. Everybody knows what they're doing. You know, they probably did a little caching. Actually, I know for a fact everyone around me did caching. I, I myself put in like a hundred bucks in the Star Wars. I don't. I haven't had to do that uh, anymore. I'm actually, it was actually ninety dollars. So uh, totally worth it. Totally worth it. Anyway, smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page, and uh, yeah, I'll try to grow this channel. Um, so anyway, honestly, I'm done for the day. Uh, I guess going to go lift weights soon. Uh, normally, I would just eat, but you know, now that my uh, inflammation seems to have finally calm down a bit, because I forgot that sometimes. Uh, t chugging a bunch of vitamin E and uh, turmeric pills is not good enough. Then I forgot. Oh, then I remember. Oh yeah, I have my super vitamin B tablet, right? So I take that occasionally because like, it's really powerful stuff. So uh, yeah, so I think maybe my body just needs vitamin D now. So you know, and now I can already see it's you know working its magic finally. So uh, and yes, I actually found like a better product to buy on Amazon to give me my turmeric pill so I get like a lot more turmeric and it's a little cheaper and so I bought a lot of that so it's actually kind of nice and uh, yeah Amazon's actually running out of a lot of supplies because everyone's just stocking up on shit right now I bet Jeff Bezos must be uh, happy anyway enjoy your your day or night stay safe watch out for coronavirus do not go out unless you have to right you know minimize the amount of time you know easy for me because I just stay on my ass all day but uh, yeah, just uh, just write out the just write out this bullshit. You know, uh, coronavirus uh, is definitely creating great buying opportunities. So if you can buy, you know, do it. Just you know, do dollar cost averaging because you know I do expect prices to continue to go down because it definitely looks like everyone's just going full on panic mode now. So uh, yeah, uh, works for me. All right. So also, I like it, too, because now Trump can't bullshit with the stock market anymore. He'll actually have to deport illegals and build the fucking wall right? if he wants to win re-election. Or he could just lose. Or he could just lose this year. I don't really give a shit either way, right? He hasn't done shit, right? But, uh, yeah, I mean, I do understand that it's going to make things a lot worse for us. But at this point, like, uh, you know, I'm with God or he's trying to get with God. So now... At this point, if you're a liar, right, and that includes Trump too, right, well, you get what you deserve, right? So maybe next time, you know, deliver on your promises, Trump. Because the true right is now actually rising. And even Michelle Malkin has actually finally caved, uh, well, I don't want to say caved in, but she, I, 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 she's starting to name certain topics and uh, countries you cannot criticize. And she's actually naming, uh, naming them. All right, so we're so America first is 100% guaranteed to happen. So you know it's coming, it's just coming. So if Trump wants to be a part of it, you know he better get off his ass and actually start doing something. Um, so, but I mean Nick Fuentes did say he's doing pretty well on like with the wall and the immigration stuff. So all right, at least he's got that saving grace. Hey, anyway, but I don't know. I kind of just remain like mm, I don't know. I'm not convinced yet. But I also don't have a choice because I still have to vote for him uh, by the end of this year anyway. So, uh, but yeah, we'll see. But enjoy your day or night. See you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Johnson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin. I fully expect the markets to get a lot worse before they get better, right? Uh, so prices will probably continue to go down. Uh, so now is the time to buy, not really to sell because... You're not really going to get anything. Uh, or I guess you could sell now. So with the intention of buying back the next day or whatever, as prices continue to go down. So you get the money now and then just buy at a cheaper price. Of course, the gamble is if you're wrong, 
then prices go back up tomorrow, then you're like, well, you know, you 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 take a loss, right? Because now you don't have the asset or security, and you missed out on all the profit. So yeah, uh, but in this case, I'm just buying, right? You know, whatever I have, I just buy. If I don't, then well, you know, we we uh, we ride it out. And here's my thumbnail.